pingdemic grips Britain as fears of food shortages grow. I read this article that was posted yesterday, Thursday, the 22nd of July, 2021. And there is some pretty interesting stuff in it that I want to share with everybody. This article is dealing with the UK and the food shortages that they are seeing, as well as we'll get into food inflation that is happening. And these things are just tied to the UK. This is happening worldwide. It's getting worse. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is even going on, but it continues to. This article is in reference to the pandemic that they saw there because for some reason, a large number of very foolish people decided to download the contact tracing app in which people get notified when you've been close to somebody with the virus or whatever the case is, whatever reason they decided to ping you. But over 600,000 people were pinged and told to not to not go anywhere, to not go to work, to not do anything and to isolate for 10 days. So here, let's get into this article. This is on Reuters. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's bet that he could reopen England's economy because so many people got the shot has been tarnished by the pandemic in which people have been told by the contract tracing app to isolate for 10 days. You know, you're just foolish if you got that. The drastic reduction in staffing that has resulted has shown chaos through sectors as diverse as food supplies, haulage, supermarkets, hospitality, manufacturing, and media. Well, media would be great. Let's let's close down every news station on, on earth. To avoid disruption, many have simply deleted the app from their phones. Yeah, that's a great idea. But the British ministers say that the app plays an important role in countering the spread of, of what's going on and has allowed some workers in critical roles to carry on working. Or you could just carry on anyway because you've got a 99.97% chance that you'll be fine. But that's a different story that you won't be reading on Reuters. On the edge. Many businesses said the situation was becoming grave. Britain's food supply chains are, quote, right on the edge of failing. As absence related to the virus has aggravated a critical shortage of labor, a meat industry body said on Wednesday. Supermarket group Iceland said it has closed a number of stores due to staff shortages. Quote, we have a structural issue with a shortage of HGV drivers for a variety of different reasons, but of course the pandemic has made it even worse. Managing director Richard Walker told ITV, we're starting to see some availability issues. So we're just seeing this continually go on and on, shortages of everything. I was in Home Depot yesterday. They were selling slabs of wood for $80. Ammo is four times the price it should be still, even though prices have come down. I mean, it's still ridiculous. Food prices are continuing to rise. We're seeing it in every reason. They still have signs up at some stores, national coin shortage, and they had signs up in Walmart saying national aluminum shortage in cans or you may not have soda. It's just, it's unbelievable to see how this is all going the way it is. And for something with 99.97% chance you'll be fine from, imagine if something comes around where there's actually a serious threat. Imagine how things are going to fall apart then. You're not going to want to not be ready in those instances because things will get pretty bad. UK pandemic spreads as record 600,000 people told to self-isolate. That's on the Financial Times. Here's another article. Pandemic air food prices increases, shortages likely to temporarily persist. In the article, which mentions right at first that Taco Bell is experiencing an ingredient shortage and that they're not going to have some of their items available, but later on it gets into more than just that. It says, quote, Taco Bell is hardly the only food purveyor to struggle with food prices and shortages amid the ongoing virus pandemic, and consumers are likely to see continued price spikes at both grocery stores and the nation's largest chain restaurants as supply chain issues aggravated by the virus persist across the world. Prices for items like meat, eggs, milk, and even potatoes skyrocketed at the beginning of the pandemic with May 2020 marking the steepest price incline for the cost of food brought to eat at home in 46 years. Food prices now are only slightly improved. Consumer prices in June rose 0.9% from May and 5.4% over the past year, the sharpest 12-month inflation spike since August 2008. According to the U.S. Foods Farmers Report for the week of July 16th, a number of pantry staples are hitting record high prices. Canoil seed prices neared all-time highs last week, and the price for palm oil increased dramatically after India cut its import tax on the commodity from 15% to 10%. 
So as we're seeing, there's just there's shortages everywhere and there's people not going to work everywhere and people staying home or in these more totalitarian government societies, people are being told and off of their phones and not even leave the house and to stay home for 10 days. 600,000 people. So this thing is just going to get worse. And as we see the the Delta boogeyman ooga booga thing around the corner, you know, a new strain coming around the corner just just when things look like they're starting to loosen up, of course, there's a boogeyman that has to come around the corner because, of course, they're not going to let this opportunity pass them up because people bought this freaking hook, line, and sinker. So until more people wake up against this, which actually I think there's a pretty good amount of people who actually are, but their voices are just shut up everywhere. They're not allowed to speak. Their posts get blocked, and that's just the way it is, I guess. But the more people who get on board and realize this is completely ridiculous and completely out of hand, you know, people who don't watch TV all the time and aren't controlled by what they see on their black box in their living room, then things will maybe change. But that's the only way things are going to get better. People need to not go along with this crap. The reason it got to where it is was because people just went along with it in the first place. And on, on totally of means that are just completely unnecessary, like to a point of where things are just not necessary. And then remember when this all started in the first place, people were saying, oh, I'm an essential worker. Look, th these people are essential. Well, you would think that, you know, food, people who work at food and meat industries, or truck drivers, they'd be essential, or people are cutting wood. Why is wood freaking way more than it should be? You know, there's no reason for these things to go up in price. People realize that they can now charge this because everyone else did, and so they did. The same thing with ammo. I know the ammo companies that are producing it say that they're not raising the prices. It's these stores are. That's why when you go to some of your local shops or whatever, and they've got the price of ammo six times what it should cost and then you go to walmart somewhere where there there's more i don't know they're just they don't have the ability i guess to to raise it at least as not individually as a local shop would but and then the prices at walmart are as cheap as it was since before all this happened that's why walmart's completely cleaned out every single time i mean everyone has been but walmart is always cleaned out because they haven't raised the prices so these people are just raising prices because they know they can so we'll see how much of this continues and the world is not looking good there's so many different things going on right now it's just crazy dude there's wildfires there's natural disasters there's all of this nonsense going on it's just around every single corner there's something crazy happening and it's really not even that bad it could get a lot worse and it's going to get a lot worse one day we don't know when that day will come but it looks like it's getting pretty close to that day and if you are here and you're around for that it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It's just that's the bottom line of it, especially as Christians and believers in Jesus Christ. Things aren't going to be super good for us. And that's just prophecy and what it says. No one knows when that day will come. But you can imagine if things got like this over this, imagine what will happen when crazy, really bad stuff actually happens. And like the book of Revelation starts to completely unfold. Yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. And that could be very potentially why some of all this stuff is kind of seeming like everything's falling apart because there's going to be a false, there's going to be a false savior and it'll be the Antichrist and he will come on the scene to fix all these problems and people will buy into him and his lies. And it'll seem at first like he is doing good, but it, well, that won't be the case for the long haul, obviously. So that could be why we're seeing all these things get this way. But things will get, at some point, Earth is going to, fall completely apart and then jesus is going to come back and he's going to fix everything so you better be right with jesus first and foremost and then secondly to me it just makes sense to get ready for things to get worse we've seen things continually getting worse while things are cheap you should buy stuff you should stock up you should be ready you should prepare for your family there's many bible verses that says if you don't prepare and if you don't take care of your family you're worse than an unbeliever Wise people see trouble coming and they get ready for it. The simple do not and they struggle for it. So it's to me, it's smart too. So I have links in my description and pinned comment to some supplies and things that I think are good to stock up and be ready for. But no matter what, not even through me, it's seriously because I want people to be prepared if things get worse. You know, I want God's people to be prepared and to not be dependent on some, some falling apart system. And then, you know, when I see all these things with the meat and stuff, and I've said it a lot before, but it's seriously true. 
The, if you just go to a church, you'll find people there who hunt, especially in America. I don't know how it is in these other countries because you might not be allowed to do that there. But in America, you could go to church. You can find people who hunt. Go learn that because there's hundreds of pounds of really good meat walking around outside right now, pretty close to probably where you are. Unless you live in like, well, even Nevada has good animals to hunt there. So there's perfect meat, hundreds of pounds of it walking for for free pretty much out there. It costs like not that much to get a tag to go get that. So if you can do that, you know, if you don't know anything on that, go to a church. You'll meet people there. There's people at churches who do that stuff. And then if you do that, you get a deer or a large animal, a bigger like an elk or something. You have a lot of meat stocked up and then you're not relying on the pandemic that that now prevented you from being able to get meat at the store for cheap. And it's gone up way more in price because, well, somebody downloaded a stupid app on their phone and now they're told to sit at home. So that's just my advice. I just want God's people seriously to be prepared and to be ready for hard times because they could definitely get a lot worse eventually they will we don't know but if it's soon i want you to be ready make sure you're in right standing with jesus christ because that's truly what matters then you have your eternity planned out in peace and harmony with the lord and savior jesus christ and he gives you guidance here on earth obviously as well it's truly all that really matters at the end of the day thanks for watching god bless